Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 21st of 2020. Well, it is titled phases of Venus. So what do we see here? Well, this is a set of six images put together of the planet Venus. Now Venus is the brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon. And it undergoes phases much like our moon does. They're not visible to the naked eye, but they are with a small telescope. You can easily see the list of them at this, the range of phases as we see here. And these were taken between February on the bottom here and May 14th up at the top. And you can see that over that time Venus has been doing two things. First of all, it's been getting larger and larger. Why is it getting larger? Well, it's on the inner part of its orbit between the Earth and the Sun. So over the course of the beginning of this year, it's been getting closer and closer to the Earth. As objects get closer to the Earth, they will appear larger in the sky. So Venus will appear larger. The other thing that we're seeing is that it's becoming much more of a crescent phase. It was about a quarter phase back in February, and it is now becoming a very thin crescent. And that process will continue uh, over the coming days. And in fact, Venus will very quickly disappear from the evening sky as it begins as it does now. And beginning in June will very quickly reappear in the morning sky. So we will see uh, very quickly Venus will begin to disappear. It's visible right after sunset off in the west right now. But that's only for a very short time now. It will then undergo what we call its inferior conjunction. And that's when it passes between it lines up with the sun and the earth and is between the earth and the sun. At that point, it would not be visible because it would be in the same general direction in the sky as the sun. However, shortly after that, it will move into the morning sky as it begins to move away from the sun. And we would see this pattern in reverse that the sun, that Venus would be a very thin crescent and would then slowly thicken over the coming months and also begin to shrink as it moves away from the Earth. So we would see this process in reverse going on. Now the phases of Venus were observed by Galileo with his telescope uh, back in the early 1600s. And this was one of the first demonstrations that something had to be orbiting the sun. So we knew that Venus had to be orbiting the sun because did Venus orbit the Earth as it was originally thought that the sun and the planets and everything orbited the Earth, then we would never see the complete cycle of phases. Venus would always appear as a thin crescent and finding that Venus does not that it appears as a quarter phase and even up to a full phase when it is on the opposite side of the sun demonstrated that Venus at least must orbit the sun but eventually by implication convinced many that the, not only Venus but the other planets and including the Earth would also be orbiting the Sun. So here we see an example of those phases between uh, February 27th down there at the bottom and May 14th up at the top. So that was our picture of the day for May the 21st of 2020. It was titled Phases of, Ven Phases of Venus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.